Welcome to Lecture Online, and now we're going to take a look at the next era in the beginning universe. So first we had Planck era, then we had the gut era, where we had all the forces united except for gravity, which had separated from the other three forces. And now we're getting into what we call the electroweak era. A second of the four major forces of the universe is separating itself from the rest. And so this is the nuclear strong force is now separating itself from the nuclear weak force and the electromagnetic force. It was still assumed that those two forces were combined into a single force called the electroweak force. We just gave it a name. That doesn't make what it is. It just meant that at that time they felt that those two forces were still combined, but the nuclear strong force had separated itself. Because you need the nuclear strong force in order to hold nuclei together. Because without the strong force, nuclei cannot hold together. So the force that began, that allows us to have matter held together into a nucleus is the nuclear strong force and it separated itself from the other two forces. Now that's the whole event, this event is what defines electroweak era. Now that, that time, that era lasted a whole lot longer than, bef than the era before. The gut era only lasted a tiny, tiny fraction of a second and here it lasted a considerable amount more time, although still when we talk about from 10 to the minus 36, 36 seconds to 10 to the minus 12 seconds, that's still a minute small amount of time. So this event unfolded just incredibly lightning fast. So what happened at the end of this electroweak era? We now had energy only of 100, and I say only with a grain of salt of course, 100 giga electron volts, which means at that point there was still plenty of energy within each photon, with each chunk of energy to create particles because you only need about 2 giga electron volts to create a neutron, an antineutron or a proton and an antiproton. So there was still plenty of energy in the universe. How big was the universe? Again, I don't have a pen small enough or fine enough to draw the circumference or the size of the universe. It was basically, for our perspective, a small little dot in the middle of who knows where. And that contained all of the energy that now would create all the matter of the universe. How is that matter created? Well, to understand that, we need to go to a very special event that must have happened, something we call the inflationary period. Something happened within this period of time, somewhere between 10 to the minus 30 to 36 seconds and 10 to the minus 12 seconds, that explains a lot of things that otherwise would be unexplainable. So a very special event happened within what we call the electroweak era. And if you want to know about that one, you need to go look at the next video.